Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys how the PlayStation 5 Remote Play feature actually works with the Google Chromecast. Thanks to the latest update for the PlayStation 5, now they added the ability to PlayStation Remote Play your console to the Google Chromecast. Uh, the Google Chromecast that I'm talking about, the one that I'm using, and I love it since day one, since I got it, is the one that's white that looks like a little thing that hangs from your HDMI port. And it also comes with the controller as well, with the white controller. This actually has a skin that I put, so it can be easier to you know, maneuver. Now, I don't know if it's actually gonna be compatible with the prior Chromecast, but I know it's gonna work with that Chromecast and whatever Chromecast comes after that. And all you have to do, just make sure you actually download the application PlayStation Remote Play. Uh, from here when you go to you know the app section just make sure you search it there uh, for some reason I couldn't find it uh, at the beginning to begin with but just keep on searching PlayStation remote or remote play whatever and it should appear once you find it go ahead and install it and the cool thing is like you know, right now I'm using the DualSense controller and like you see it functions perfectly like if it was actually the the Chromecast controller, really, really nice. So first of all, here is the application, right? PlayStation Remote Play. Uh, when you first install it, it might be like hitting somewhere like all the way over here, you know, where you can't see it. Uh, to move these applications, all you gotta do is just press and hold on one of them, then click move. And then once you click move, you could just go ahead and move the application anywhere. So if you got the Chromecast, the PlayStation Remote Play there. You could just go ahead and put it on your number one option. And that's it, you hit back, boom. And when you go back to your home, boom, it's going to be right there, the first option right there. So let's go ahead and open it up, right? Open it up. Now, before I show you guys how it works, just make sure you actually go to your PlayStation 5, right? Uh, go to settings where it says systems, then you're gonna go right there and make sure your PlayStation Remote Play feature is actually enabled. Also, make sure in power saving mode, where it says power saving mode, make sure those two toggles are actually on because if they're not on, uh, your system won't be able to, or you won't be able to access your system from the internet or via Remote Play. So just make sure those options are actually selected also, I really, really strongly recommend that your PlayStation 5 is actually connected via wired to your modem or router. That, that way you're gonna get the best experience as possible. Or just make sure if you have one of those dual band uh, routers, you know, that has the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5.0 gigahertz, make sure you actually choose the 5.0 gigahertz. That's always going to be the best option. Same thing goes here on the Chromecast as well. You wanna have the best experience on both devices. So you wanna make sure that here, you are actually, you know, this is the Chromecast, make sure here you're actually connected to the 5.0 as well, okay? Make sure you're actually connected to the 5.0. If you're like me that have both, you know, you see right there it says 2.4 plus 5G. Make sure you're actually connected to the 5.0 because that's always going to be the best option, the best performance. You're always going to get it connected there. Okay. So once you do that, you know, open the application. Uh, when you open the application here, you got remote play settings. Here you got video quality. You got HDR. You could turn it on or off. I'm just going to leave it off because I want to get the best performance when I'm streaming. Um, here you got, if you're using the PlayStation 4, you can actually select standard or high. You know, you can leave it on high if you want. Um, apps that are settings, uh, that doesn't really matter. Everything here doesn't really matter. Uh, to connect your device, also make sure you're actually connected to your account. Same account as the PlayStation 5, because if not, you're not gonna see your PlayStation 5. Also, to connect a controller for the first time, all you gotta do is tap right there. Right here, you can actually choose DualSense or the DualShock 4. So it works with either or, or you could connect later. Here, you just click dual sense wireless. Right there, you have the instructions very easily laid out. You gotta press and hold these two buttons, these two buttons for like, uh, until it starts blinking. When it starts blinking, then you go ahead here, over there where it says go to settings, click right there, boom. You're gonna go all the way down where it says remote and accessories. 
and right there you're gonna find you're gonna see your dual sense controller right there and then you're gonna go ahead connect and that's it once you connect boom you're gonna have a great awesome connection here and it works flawlessly so far so here this is your playstation 5 you're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and click on it it's gonna turn on your playstation 5 remember to always leave your playstation 5 on standby or rest mode if you turn it off completely it's not gonna turn on your playstation 5 so it has to be on rest mode or on standby okay there you go so it connected to that and like you see over there it says connect it using remote play from here you can you know use these options right here move around um, go back right now i'm playing i have installed here uh, miles morales look at that right away and and one thing that i'm surprised is how freaking nice and smooth it i'm getting here you know i heard people saying that they're having a bad experience but i'm pretty sure a lot of people are actually using the 2.4 gigahertz connection and not not the 5.0 gigahertz connection some people think that doesn't matter believe me guys it does matter that does matter also i really truly 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 recommend if you're not using the 5.0 gigahertz make sure you actually connect your playstation 5 via wired because that's going to give you a way more stable connection and that way you know i can see you right here this is totally wireless i don't have my playstation uh connected here on my living room i have it in my office and it's just connecting you know let's see if we can play here a mission there you go <laughs> there you go my size I'm right now I'm in stealth mode <laughs> it's awesome and like you see here the cool thing is that if you don't have multiple playstations but of course you have Chromecast and Chromecast is cheap Crowcast, I think you could get the 4K version for like 50 bucks. And it, and you get it on sale a lot. So, and it's my favorite of all the, of all the, you know, all the other. <laughs> of all the streaming uh, services or apps or not. Oh, look at that. I'm having a little problem there. Like you see there it's not perfect the the experience that you're gonna get is basically oops 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 it depends on your internet so if your internet is bad or if your internet is trying is starting to die uh you're gonna have a bad experience so just make sure oops yeah just make sure you actually are using the best connection you know because if not like i said you're not just gonna have a bad experience but like you see here it is totally playable Woohoo! oh you're not gonna work that's not gonna work. <laughs> nice awesome so like you saw right there during the gameplay, there was a little bit of hiccup. A little bit of frame rate actually dropped the connection. But that is something that you can't avoid. You know, it also, you know, the speeds recommended for f remote play, I think it's around five megabits to 15 megabits to have the best experience as possible. And, um, you know, as long as you have those things like the speed available and you're like I said you're using the 5.0 if you don't have the 5.0 gigahertz make sure you actually connect your console in um, with the cable you know with the Ethernet cable that way you can actually have a better connection but I see here I'm swinging around and I really don't feel like a lag at all it actually feels like you're 
the console is it is installed <laughs> I like that <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. There you go. Like you see, it feels like you're actually playing with a damn console in your home, in your living room. When I don't, it's awesome. And this is something, you know, like the Chromecast is something so cheap that you can have on. Oh, this guy's leaving. Really? Really, bro? <laughs> How the hell do you dare? You know that I could catch you, right, bro? You know I can catch you, right? <laughs> Get out of here. Woohoo! Yeah. Ah! There you go. Woohoo! Nice. Awesome. So there you go, guys. Uh, this was a look at PlayStation 5 Remote Play being played using the Chromecast. And like you see, my performance is actually pretty damn awesome. And it feels that like you had a PlayStation right here in my living room and right now i don't it's in my office but like i said my playstation is on 5.0 gigahertz and my chromecast is also on the 5 point hertz gigahertz and that's it so just uh let me know in the comments what you think about this um thanks for watching this video and of course oh another thing to keep in mind using it here uh, when you press the home button, you're going to see these controls right there. You're going to have home, control center, and disconnect. If you click disconnect, it's going to disconnect the control. Uh, if you want to go to the home, just click right there. It will take you to home right there. If you click again, it takes you here to control center. And control center, when you turn it off, make sure you actually put it in rest mode. Because like I said, if you put it off, it will turn off. You won't be able to access it from remote play. So we put it on rest mode, boom, and that's it, you're done. The controller, it's still gonna stay connected to the Chromecast because we connected this, you know, we connected this to the Chromecast. So this is basically gonna function like the uh, remote controller for the Chromecast. So to turn this off, just make sure you press and hold until it actually turns off. I think it turns off within 10 seconds or maybe more. So let me see. Let's see how long it takes. Boom, there you go, it turns off. So now when you're off, you can just go ahead and use your normal controller and navigate around. That's it guys. So thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this awesome new feature from the PlayStation 5. Till next time, bye-bye.